Good afternoon, happy Monday, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto Consultants, and today I'm here to break down the week in crypto for you guys. Been another interesting week, lots of things going on. Um, so to start us out, I'm going to break down the Bitcoin segment. So I had a pretty interesting weekend. I tried to send a $250 transaction <coughs> through Coinbase. And it ended up costing me about $5. Now, this isn't how Bitcoin is supposed to work. Bitcoin's supposed to have lower transaction fees than credit cards. And obviously, that is not. So, there's something going on. And I want to break down exactly what is going on for you guys. So, everyone who is out of the loop, there is a coordinated multi-level attack going on. And I'm going to break down this attack for you. So, number one, meme pool looks to be getting spammed consistently and constantly as the miner, I mean, yes, the miners try to raise fees as high as possible. They're trying to get the most money out of this, um, even if it means destroying Bitcoin. So, number two, Bcash is purposely or out of just pure incompetence designed to take away hash power from BTC in a widely oscillating manner. And it looks like this is happening and it's strengthening the point of number one by filling meme pool with basically empty blocks. Um, as you can see, two weeks ago, before SegWit was even activated, meme pool was empty. And now if you look Meme pool is completely full, and half of those transactions are empty blocks. So, Jihan and Bitmain are also mining empty and half empty blocks, which multiplies the effects of one and two. And finally, there is a coordinated trolling attack going on. There's multiple shilling, a lot of FUD going on in the subreddit Bitcoin. Anything that subtly favors Segwit2x immediately for a block size increase is getting upvoted to the top. So there is definitely a coordinated paid attack going on. Um, a lot of FUD. So what does this mean? Well, it means that network fees are going to continually rise on the Bitcoin network. There is a lot of fighting going on within the community. And... This fighting won't stop until November. As we've seen with the Bcash split, if Segwit2x wants to split, it's not going to destroy the crypto market like a lot of us doomsday sayers said might happen. It actually strengthened the network, which is, in my opinion, shown by the Bcash split. So... Another thing that's going on in the crypto market, which in my opinion is why it's going to continue to increase, actually CNBC actually wrote an article um, discussing that $30 billion over the past 10 weeks has left the U.S. stock index. Now, this is the largest withdrawal in record consecutive weeks. In the past decade. The last time this happened was about 2004 to 2006. So money is leaving the stock market and it's going into other places such as emerging markets. Now I'm not saying this whole 30 billion went into the crypto market, but it's interesting in about 10 and a half weeks the whole crypto market on coin market cap has went up about 30 billion dollars. Now, I'm not saying all of this is from the stock market, but a good percentage is coming from the stock market and into crypto, which is a very bullish sign, and definitely keep investing. In my opinion, we're not even close to the iceberg. We're going to keep increasing. I mean, we might have $100, $200 fluctuations up and down. I mean, I might see Bitcoin crash down to 32 and a lot of people will be saying, oh, it's the end, but... In my opinion, it's going to keep going up and we're going to be seeing ten to $20,000 Bitcoins here pretty soon. So I haven't posted a video about NEO in a few days, so let's break down my favorite crypto. <clears throat> so NEO is 
currently trading at about the $37 to $40 range, which it has been the past few days, or past about week and a half. And it's actually following the similar trend of about a month ago when NEO was hovering in the $6, $10 range. It kept going up and down, up and down. There was a lot of FUD going on with Bitcoin. And then it hit its moonshot, the pr most recent one, which boosted it up to its current price levels. And currently, NEO is acting very similar. Um, there was this guy who posted a very interesting chart on the NEO Trader subreddit. His name is Coinstructor. Um, here is the chart right now. So as you can see, the bottom of the price resistance of 0 0.0087 BTC has been reached, meaning this is probably one of the best times to buy. Um, if you follow the prediction lines, you can see the eventual breakout will happen anytime. Unless there's a huge downtrend in the crypto market, this trend line is going to follow it. Um, in my opinion, we're going to see a major price breakout, and the new price of NEO could be anywhere from the $75 to $125 range. And also, another big thing with NEO is the government of China has recently announced they are prepping for new regulations on ICOs. And they may even be banning them until the rules are in place. Now, whoa, you may be thinking, this is not good for NEO. But let me explain to you why it is. The fact that the Chinese government is even recognizing ICOs is a good sign. And if they plan on regulating it, it gives ICOs a strong backing. It means that the government is accepting them. It's acceptance, basically. So, I mean, unless the regulations are too crazy um, and hard to create an ICO, too many rules, which I don't think China's government wants to do. They want innovation in the space. They want to be the leaders in the blockchain space, just as the Russian government has shown that they want to, too. So, I think they just don't want a bunch of scams on their platform. So, this is a good thing for NEO. They don't want scams in China, so... The NEO platform will have legitimate, awesome ICOs. So, in my opinion, great time to buy NEO. It's on the verge of another great price breakout. Again, $75 to $125 range. Great time to buy. So, viewers of YouTube, I appreciate your time and watch me next time. I'm out.